Hello. Today we will talk about intermolecular forces. We will discuss which type of intermolecular forces exist and mostly we will focus on London dispersion forces. First of all, let's see at this picture. We see that mm, there are uh, five molecules and uh, of course we know that inside of the molecules there are inter intramolecular forces while between the molecules we can observe intermolecular forces so these are forces uh, they can be attractive or repulsive forces that occur between the molecules of a substance so these forces occur between the molecules not inside the molecules for preparing our today's video I used this book well now let's have a look at the table and see which types of intermolecular forces exist and indeed there are overall four types of intermolecular forces Van der Waals forces and hydrogen bond these two ones are for molecules which are electrically neutral and we have ion dipole interaction and ion ion interaction which are characteristic for such molecules which are electrically charged so they occur between electrically charged molecules so um, let's review Van der Waals forces have also two types which are London dispersion forces and dipole dipole interaction well at the same time dipole dipole interaction can occur between permanent dipoles and permanent dipoles induced dipole while London dispersion forces occur between atoms molecules or atoms and molecules hydrogen bond occurs between hydrogen one molecule and highly electronegative element of another molecule as an electronegative element we take fluorine oxygen or nitrogen but since our today's topic is London dispersion forces let's focus mostly on them these forces occur between electrically neutral molecules nonpolar molecules and atoms they can be between two molecules two atoms or molecule and an atom but which are electrically neutral they are not electrically charged but how is it possible if there are no charge how do these interactions occur let's review it well this is actually due to electrostatic forces and uh, the scientist Fritz London he was a German American physicist he recognized that the motion of electrons in an atom or a molecule can create an instantaneous or momentary dipole moment so what it means actually atoms are nonpolar atoms are nonpolar so it means that they possess no permanent dipole moment but instantaneous distribution of electrons can be different from average distribution for example imagine that we take a molecule and we free the motion of electrons at any given instant in this case that might happen that both the electrons are on one side of the nucleus and at just this moment at that instant the atom has an instantaneous dipole moment so when we say electrostatic forces we mean the interactions between nucleus and electrons of two atoms we know that nucleus of one atom attract electrons of another atom while nucleus of another atom attract electrons of this one this atom so these are electrostatic attractions as you can see in the picture in the picture there are there is an atom a and atom b the same thing occurs so this is the same case and we take the atom at one instant we see that electrons are on one side of the nucleus 
if we have a look at this picture we see we have atom a and atom b in the atom b we see that both of the electrons are on the left side of the nucleus so for this instant we have instantaneous dipole moment for atom b when electrons move in one atom they influence the motion of the electrons on its neighboring atom again we have a look at a and b we see that instantaneous dipole on one atom can induce an instantaneous dipole on the adjacent atom and that will cause the atoms to be attracted to each other this attractive interaction is called dispersion force or the London dispersion force it is significant only when molecules are very close together in the atom B both the electrons come to the left side of the nucleus and it happens for that instance it happened that the left side of the atom B is negative while the right side of the atom is positive so we have an instantaneous dipole for this reason these electrons are attracted by the nucleus of the atom A but they are repelled by the electrons of the atom A so also in the atom A electrons go to the left side to one side of the nucleus and nucleus becomes closer to these electrons and for this reason in the atom A we can also observe an instantaneous dipole moment and uh, these forces are called London dispersion forces. The strength of the dispersion force depends on the ease with which the charge distribution in a molecule can be distorted to induce an instantaneous dipole. So the ease with which the charge distribution is distorted is called the molecule's polarizability. We can see from the polarizability of a molecule as a measure of squashiness of its electron cloud. Let's clarify it. The greater the polarizability, the more easily the electron cloud can be distorted to give an instantaneous dipole. Therefore, more polarizable molecules have larger dispersion forces. say it with general words polarizability increases as the number of electrons in an atom or molecule increases so the strength of dispersion forces tends to increase with increasing atomic or molecular size well molecular size and mass are generally parallel each other for this reason dispersion forces tend to increase in strength with increasing molecular weight but when we have a higher a larger molecular weight we will have a stronger forces dispersion forces we can see this in the boiling points of the halogens and noble gases where dispersion forces are the only intermolecular forces at work if we have a higher molecular weights dispersion forces will be also higher and stronger that means that boiling point will also be higher if there is a stronger interaction between two molecules or atoms it will be more difficult to separate them so of course boiling point will increase we understood that London dispersion forces occur between electrically uncharged neutral atoms molecules or atoms and molecules so it happens is due to an instantaneous momentum dipole that occurs at one instant and that can induce a dipole of the adjacent molecule here we can see a table this table is also taken from the book that I showed you at the beginning of the video let's see how to de define if we have one dispersion forces Actually, we can say that London dispersion forces occur in all the substances. Moreover, we can see, we can do it in this way. If we have ions or not, we should check it. If we have no ions, then we should check if we have polar molecules. 
and we have it with no polar molecules it means we have dispersion forces only so there are no other forces if there are no ions nor polar molecules we will have lone and dispersion forces only that's all for today but the topic of our next video will is dipole dipole interaction so next time i will tell you more detailed about dipole dipole interaction and that's all for today goodbye and see you in our next videos